It was a death nail tweet nobody wanted to read. Andre and I have decided that we are closing the chapter of contributing to the DeFi crypto space. There are around 25 apps and services that we are terminating on the 3rd of April 2022. To the surprise of no one, anything Andre Cronier had ever been associated with nosedived. Wifey dropped 13%, Phantom dropped 15%, Solid fell off a cliff. Andre, to be fair, has history. His building in DeFi sucks post revealing his keenly felt disgust at the actions of entitled greedmongers determined to pervert every honest action of his into some outsized profit nuke. But this time, it's different. For one, the announcement didn't come from Andre. In fact, he would have preferred not to announce anything. But that didn't stop angry investors piling in to pinpoint Andre and Anton as 100% responsible for the market price of, well, everything. No matter the crypto is suffering the same macro jitters as financial markets everywhere. So what happened? And has Andre really gone for good this time? Coming up after this message from our sponsors. Nexo.io is a trusted and easy to use crypto lending and exchange platform where you can buy cryptocurrencies at the touch of a button and start earning up to 17% annual interest that's paid out daily. They support all of the major assets on the market including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Polygon and Polkadot and allow you to swap one asset for another with lightning speed. With Nexo you can buy crypto with your Visa and MasterCard credit or debit card instantly and start earning on your digital assets right away. You can also borrow cash and stablecoins tax efficiently against your digital assets without selling them. Nexo complies with the highest security standards and is audited in real time, which is why nearly 3 million people in over 200 countries trust the platform with their digital assets. So whether you're just getting started or you're a seasoned pro, get the most out of your crypto today at nexo.io. So a little bit of circumspection is required here. Anton Nell is, was a senior solutions architect at Phantom, but Yearn has been running without Andre's contribution for over a year now. It's properly decentralized in that regard. Phantom's Michael Kong wrote a tweet thread explaining that when they said terminating, that didn't mean terminating projects, only their involvement. And that of course is why we have PR firms but they are actively handing over to other teams or team members. For the most part, the smart contracts involved here are immutable, and as long as they don't require Andre's approval to make changes, they'll work as they are. If there was a website or a front-end deployed on top of a protocol, then, well, that will be discontinued. SolidX announced it will be taking over the Solidly UI moving forward, but it's Solid itself that will have been the biggest kick for many investors. Committing to a four-year lock is contingent on trusting that the development team behind a protocol is robust enough to keep it going that long. And now we have this. Back in January, following the Zero X Sifu drama, Andre wrote another of his famous posts entitled Not So Smart Contracts. And in it, he wrote that the job of smart contracts is to remove the human condition. It is to remove the human failure point. This is not only a trust assumption, but also a contingency. If I die today, all my code I wrote in DeFi will keep working exactly as designed. It does not need me. Now he might not have died, but his exit, well, it's tantamount to his death. The code can continue working without him, but it needs people to take up the baton. And I think everyone with skin in this particular game should ask themselves how reliant they were on the narrative of this one superhuman developer, a bet on Andre. It's worth going back to watch my interview with him from last month where I put it to him that he was the main reason people would come and invest or come and build. He denied it, but the market proves him wrong, at least in the short term anyway. In that interview, we also talked about the noble ambition for DeFi and the possibility of doing something genuinely good here. At the time, he said there was still a sliver of hope. But last week he messaged me to say that he was wrong. It was already gone. It's turned into everything we wished it never did. The space I loved is gone. Now Anton had said that this was not a knee-jerk reaction, but a decision that had been coming for a while now. So in the end, it was the humans, it was greed that broke the camel's back. Andre wanted to leave quietly, slip away without leaving too many ripples, but it wasn't to be. Many will be angry, many will feel that he has recklessly endangered their investments, and some will point to previous Andre rugs as evidence that this is just another one of those Andre moments, like eminence finance. For those that like to speculate, 
there's even an Andre Cronier rug token on Phantom now. Reading those messages, it's telling how wrong they appear to be. Andre isn't an introvert. Go watch his panels. Nor does he display the social skill and emotional intelligence of a cyborg. If anything, he's the opposite. In longing for acceptance, I started looking towards community. I started looking for camaraderie. I wanted to belong. It's easy to feel alone. It's easy to feel isolated. And it's very, very easy for the Twitterati to cuss and condemn from the comfort of their collapsing positions. But you don't know him, and nor do I. This space has lost one of the rare developers who knew how to build, but who also demonstrated genuine humanity and wasn't anonymous. But it's telling that in removing his own human failing point from this, he's probably done the best thing he could have done for DeFi, or the worst, depending on your viewpoint. Now, if your investments have suffered as a result of his departure, I feel bad for your loss, but I feel worse for the loss to this space of one of its brightest talents. Where will he surface next? Well, he did tell me, and I can only hope his impact on that space is as explosive as it has been on DeFi. Stay safe out there, you crazy humans.